more and more people are converting to buying their groceries online. But have you ever wondered where all that food comes from and how it reached your doorstep? It's actually a huge technical challenge involving giant automated warehouses like this one that function like living organisms and cost hundreds of millions of dollars to build. When we build these warehouses, we have to design that full flow system in from the beginning. So we have to kind of build the full skeleton with all the cardiovascular systems, but then only ask it to do a little bit of work initially. That's Alex. He's the head of robotics and autonomous systems for Okado Technology. We took a look inside Okado's warehouse on the outskirts of London to find out how the world's largest online-only retailer uses robots to deliver your food. This warehouse is designed to mimic the human body. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of red crates carrying individual customer orders. So one container follows another container, which follows another container. They're like the red blood cells. Then there's a 31 kilometer long system of conveyor belts. And they're inherently sequential. So as you notice today, the artery analogy is really nice, right? If one artery gets clogged, then it can back up and take a different flow. Then, there's an algorithm that knows where each crate is at any time. It plans the crate's journey from start to finish, including how items are picked and packed so that you don't get heavy items on top of softer ones. So, no broken eggs or squishy avocados. Because the warehouses function as a whole, like a human body, they have to be immaculately thought out, simulated and designed before they're built. So the classic automation works, is very productive. But it faces two main problems. The first one is scale. We don't just build them, investing the hundreds of millions of pounds and cross our fingers. We look into the future and then we pose it different questions. We say, what happens if that breaks? What happens if that breaks? And so once you've built the site, you then have to try to ramp it up as fast as possible. And when you're close to having ramped it up to maximum capacity, then you've got a new problem, you're out of capacity again, and you need to build another warehouse. So Okado's already built three factories in the UK. And now it's building a fourth one, which instead of resembling a human body, looks much more like a beehive. In the latest generation of warehouses, we no longer have this constraint of one container following another container. The containers all exist within the grid, Bots collaborate together in order to retrieve bins and deliver them to the pick station as quickly as possible. So in the old warehouse, it takes hours potentially for a container to loop around the warehouse. Whereas in the latest generation of warehouse, an entire order can be picked in about 15 minutes. The second problem Mukado faces is, well, humans. The moment a customer order is picked and packed is the first time an item touches human hands. As online grocery shopping becomes more popular, the task of picking and packing individual orders is becoming a bigger challenge. Right, so time to teach a robot, are these eggs good or not? You know, so this is something which a human is really good at. Whereas picking and packing of the big things like water bottles, right? You know, this is quite stressful, it's very repetitive, and that's something which would be good for a robot to do. And this process has already begun inside Okado's warehouses. Automating supposedly really repetitive and boring jobs. Like opening up every single plastic bag before collecting the order in it. So Okado redesigned their plastic bags and developed a robot that literally unfolds the plastic bags and crates all day long. So the future of online grocery shopping is one where robots are becoming better at carrying out human tasks. But it's also a future that's literally too difficult to grasp at this point. You know, ultimately the goal is to improve the productivity, which means human-robot working together in harmony for a very long time to come.